everyone, it's Angie. How are you guys doing today? I hope that everybody's doing well. It is a rainy, rainy day here in Michigan. Uh, today is Thursday, February 9th, as I'm filming this. And I have um, an unboxing of two and a half kits to show you today from Diamond Art Club. So let me tell you why it's two and a half kits and we'll do the first half of one right away. So what happened was last Friday they had a restock um, at Diamond Art Club and there were some kits that I had been wanting that um, were restocked. So I hopped on there and I picked one up. Well then I got a notification that I had a 25% off coupon for the next half hour. I'm like well I guess that's a sign right? So I went back and I grabbed two more. So the first one that I, the one that I originally wanted was I had always uh, liked the art of Dakota Detweiler and I didn't have anything by her. So I want, and um, my son is really into everything pirate ships and pirate related and he's always loved the Kraken, um, which is, you know, the mythical huge octopus that eats pirate ships. So he really liked Dimensions by Dakota Detweiler. And I'm just going to take this cover, these cover papers off. I should have done this before I started this video, just so you can see the entire canvas. Because these came in yesterday evening at about 6 p.m. And I don't like to record when my husband's home. So I, um, but I really wanted to get this started. I'm sorry, Sue. Yes, I started something else. So I kitted this up and started it. So this is Dimensions by Dakota Detweiler. It is a 55.8 by 83.8 centimeter round drill canvas. It has uh, two, three ABs, I'm sorry, three ABs. And um, so it's very, it's, it's quite, you know, narrow and long. Um, so let me just show you, and I have started it, and I'll show you the portion I have finished. I got three four by six sections finished last night before I decided to call it a night, and I'm really enjoying working on this. It is quite um, a con it is quite confetti, even though there are only 37 colors in this. It's really um, a con really quite confetti filled. Uh, for drill placement, which I'm enjoying. I love confetti. Confetti is my favorite. So that's what the worked up portion is looking like at this point. It's looking really good. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And this is going to go in Nate's room when his gaming room when it's finished. He has a uh, Oh, what's that other one? It's quite old with the with the uh, pirate ship on the ocean. Um, gosh, I can't rem can't remember what that one's called. But he has that one in there, and we're gonna put this one alongside it when it's finished. So this one's for Nate. Now let me just show you the drills real briefly. I all I had open for kidding up with a Harbor Freight container, which only has twenty four uh, containers. So I had to add some of the colors that had just a small amount into baggies that fit in the side of here. So that worked out perfectly. But I wanted to show you the ABs specifically because I just wanted to show you the quantity of ABs of this color. So this is this beautiful aquamarine uh, blue. And I, I, this is why I hate Harbor Freight containers because they get caught in the back of the handle but look at how gorgeous those are so sparkly and pretty and there's just so many of them so so many of them um the other ab is a white ab and the other ab is a pink ab and there aren't very many of those um but that's the other ab and the rest are just a variety of browns, mostly browns and um, blues. So actually almost all brown, blue, and, and, and black is what this painting consists of. 
but it's it's I, I'm liking it. It's nice. It's it's really nice. So that's a little bit of a not unboxing. I just wanted to show you. Um, and so let's get to the unboxing of the other two paintings that I got. And I'm just gonna randomly grab one of them. So the first one that I got is the Wicked Witch, which is an Ennis Guerrero. It is also a round and it is 51 by 71 centimeters, which happens to be one of my favorite sizes to work on. It just seems like that size just renders nicely and um, yeah, and it's, you know, not too big, but not too small either. So we got our standard Diamond Art Club toolkit, which consists, consists of a tray, a pen, a, a squishy, uh, a wax, a bunch of baggies, enough baggies to kit up your diamond painting, um, a washi tape, and a cover minder. Aww! Look at this cute cover minder, you guys. Oh, that is adorable. Aw, I love that. It's a little Easter bunny with a carrot, and the Easter bunny is like clear, and the carrot's solid. That's really cute. I like that. I like it a lot. So that is the Diamond Art Club Toolkit. Also in here is your small logbook sticker that you can put either in your logbook or on the end of the box or on your forehead, as I love to say. Um, let's get into this and see it. I am a big fan of Ennis Guerrero. Uh, some of her stuff I, I absolutely love. Some of it I'm not in love with. This one I'm in love with. Now this will be one that I probably do in the fall for uh, for um, Halloweenish. You know, it's got that vibe. It's got that Halloween vibe going. Just gonna um, roll that backwards so it lies flat. Wow, a lot of black, you guys. Look at those eyes. Look at her eyes. I love it. I love it. So this one has only 27 colors. So it is a very, very dark painting and I'm seeing in here so much black. There's just, it, it's laden with black, which is to be expected, but she is cool. She's very, very cool. So there is only, there aren't any ABs. No ABs in this kit. That's interesting. I can't remember the last time I had a Diamond Art Club kit that had zero ABs. Although it says AB here on the, it says AB on the, um, on the item number down here on the canvas. I, am I missing something? Maybe it's not in order. We're gonna have to check it out. Let's let's get into these drills, this drill pack, and see if I'm missing something here. I've got to be right. I've got to be missing something. So you also have your sticker sheet with the. Um, I use this to put on my drill storage container, and then uh, these are our individually scored um, symbols that you can put on your drill containers as well. So let's look at the drills, and we'll have to. Did I tell you what this is called, The Wicked Witch? I think I did. We're gonna have to get past all the black. How many, does anybody have any guesses how many bags of black we're gonna have? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bags of black. So six bags of 310, which isn't quite as much as what I had thought. A couple bags of 838 dark brown. Couple bags of 3371 darker brown, some 169 gray, 414 and 317 and 3799 gray, 779 and 3860 brown, 318 gray, 451 and 452 mauve. Yeah, I'm not seeing ABs. 
So I'm not sure why that's in the description or the item number of the, unless that's not what that means in the product number. And, and it very well could be. 413 gray, 3861 mauve, 3768, which is like a smoky turquoise. 453 tan, 924, uh, like a dark turquoise, 415 gray, 926 and 500, like a muted green, 762 um, off-white, 3024, another off-white color, 3802 burgundy, 501 green, 3033 tan, 315, um, kind of a rosy brick color, and 3790 brown. So no ABs in this, and I am not mad about that. Um, you guys know I'm not a huge fan of ABs in the first place, so I am not entirely upset um, that there aren't any ABs. So I was happy to get my hands on this one because like I said, um, I'm a big fan of her work. That is the Wicked Witch. And let me just put these drills away real quickly and I'll get out the other kit because the other kit is the one that at least one person I know is waiting to see. And that's my friend Jody. We were both able to nab this one as it came back in stock. So let's see, and I did not check, I apologize, I did not check this morning to make sure that all of these were still in stock, but I will, um, I will put a link to all three of these kits in the description field of the video. There. You didn't have to. I'm sorry for making you wait to see. I usually don't do that on camera. I usually just set it to the side and put it away later. I'm sorry that I decided to make you guys wait for that. So, the third and final kit that I have to show you today is called Crows by John Ross McKinney, McKinney. And I'm really excited about this one. This one is just magical looking and it's, it's neat. I like it. So again, we have our toolkit. I just want to see what my cover minder and washi tape are. So you're gonna you're gonna see along with me um this one is a square diamond painting kit so it also includes a pair of tweezers in the tool kit Ooh, i love this washi tape check out that washi tape that's beautiful oh my gosh i gotta keep that out because i'm gonna use that and this is aw how pretty my cover minder for this kit very pretty. I like that. Boy, I, I got two really good cover minders this, this go round. Yeah, but I'm going to keep that washi tape out and use it because I really like that one. Okay, and then here is our logbook sticker. Now, this diamond painting is a square and it is a 56 by 76. Well, 55.8 by 76, which equates to a 22 by 30 inches, which I like when the diamond paintings are uh, even inches. It makes it easier for us here in the U.S. to find frames, standard frames in a craft store to fit them. I'm just going to pull the drills out. We've got our pamphlet there, like we always get, and our logbooks or our uh, drill storage sticker with 33 colors in this. So, boy, all three of my diamond paintings today, none of them have very many, you know, ha none of them have a crazy amount of colors, which is fine. They're all three dark images. 
So we have two ABs in this kit, and it looks like they're gonna be my favorite sorts of ABs, which are natural color ABs. So let's get this puppy open and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 I love it. I really do, that's really neat. I like it so much. Of course, of course you know that I wanna work on it right away. It's very cool, very interesting. And with only 33 colors, hmm, let's see, do I have anything I could kit this up in? Nope, I've gotta stay, I've gotta stay focused on the three I've got going right now. Three, actually four, because I'm working on Festive Lantern as well. So 33 colors. Let's take a look at the drills. I'm anxious to see our color palette for this. I want to see, I have a feeling that these blues here are going to be very bright and vivid, um, almost maybe to the point of being purple. So let's get our drills out and see what they look like. And I want to see those ABs. Okay, so let's try to open those ever so nicely. We're gonna have a, we've got a lot of four, thir, four bags of 413 gray. So we might be using that as, you know, that might be most, mostly our, our base color rather than black, which is nice. We're gonna go gray, yeah, I can see it already. We're gonna go primarily gray for up here in the sky. I like that rather than have it be, rather than be black. That's a good choice. 161, we've got three bags of that, which is a muted blue. 159, two bags of that, which is a gray blue. Two bags of 160, another gray blue, just slightly darker. So we only have two bags of 310. So that's cool. I, I like that. We're using we're using other colors other than 310 to denote the darkness of the painting. 3743, three bags of that, which is a very light lavender. Two, three bags of 3799, another dark gray. And a bag of 762. Whoops, I take that back. Three bags of 762, which is a light, very, very pale gray. Okay, here we go. Now we're getting into some color. One bag of 333, which is a nice, beautiful purple. So yes, we are going to be using purple for the, uh, for the main uh, contrast color. I like that idea. 415 light gray. 823 very dark blue. 939, two bags, even darker blue. Oh my heavens, what did I miss? I missed something and I see something so cool. How did I miss it? I did know this. I knew this, but I must have forgotten. 3746 purple. Now, these are L5200. These are square uh, crystals and there are quite a few of them so square crystals are gonna go on this aren't those amazing oh oh my gosh where do these go yep that decides it this one is yeah sorry but I really want to work on this and I am not a person who uh, deprives myself of pleasure so I will work on it. Uh, light yellow, another purple, couple more blues, some browns, caramely browns. Then we have our AB, which is that chocolatey or caramely AB. I love natural colored ABs. I think they're so beautiful. Another brown and a pale, it's like a pale yellow off-white. Oh, some more 3371. So we've got some more of that dark brown, some 898 brown. Couple more blues, another dark brown, bright golden uh, yellow, which is an AB, another bright yellow, a little bit of tan, 
a little bit of that blue and a little bit of lavender. And that makes up the 33 colors in the diamond painting. So I'm anxious to see where our special drills are going to go. And those are the plus sign. Um, and okay, so they're gonna go here in the moon and star it within this uh, motif. They are also going to be this lightning bolt. All of this is the special drill. Um, also sprinkled throughout, everything you see that's white sprinkled in here is going to be that special drill. Also down here, uh, this little arch is going to be also special drill. And that's all I see. Um, but that's, it's quite a bit. I mean, you got a lot in here and then that, and then down here. Very cool, very, very cool. Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. I gotta go find me a, another Harbor Freight container or something to get this up in. All right, that's all I have for you today. Like I said, I'll link everything in the description box and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you again in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye everyone.